Hello and welcome to News X Auto. My name is Shiraz and you are watching the review of the Ultraviolet F77. And I'll try to keep this short. See, you are, you know, already aware of the specifications and people would have given you lots of, uh, you know, walkarounds and everything. So I will, uh, you know, uh, touch only those uh, points which you're not aware of. Or if you are aware about some of them, you um, you know haven't felt those as yet. For example, the weight. You know that it's a heavy motorcycle, but you haven't uh, felt the weight until now, and that's where uh, you know our ride experience comes uh, comes into the picture. This is a heavy motorcycle, okay? And I've made a separate seat height video, and that will. Uh, you know show you how difficult it is for a person of my stature to lift the bike from its right stand because the side stand is a short stick okay and other than that uh, you know pulling it manually okay on a flat surface is not a big issue and if there is an incline or a decline and you have to you know pull it or push it in the opposite direction you can engage the reverse mode as well okay but you uh, you know will fe uh, feel the weight you know in 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 uh, bad traffic okay Con in congested areas you will feel that weight but then again it, this would not be a decision breaker for the majority uh, now the more important things see the top speed I've already made a top speed video you can check that but I'll still tell you uh, the company claims what 147 uh, for this one it you know I was able to touch 151 on the speedo which corresponded to 139 on the GPS okay and on a good day on a better day I would say uh, it was a windy day it would touch what 152 on the speedo and that would correspond to 140 on the uh, gps so that's uh, fast enough for all reasons and seasons in india uh, i made a separate acceleration video as well it's uh, you know uh, a quick motorcycle i was able to achieve a quicker uh, 0 to 100 time than what the company claims please take a look at it now let's talk about the range more importantly how what is the range that you'll get if you ride flat out okay so a, a few things flat out in the ballistic mode okay so when the battery is 100 percent charged you will be able to ride flat out in ballistic mode you know for the first 70 percent of that charge okay no matter what happens it will not drop down to the combat mode dude that is your side ford will you know watch such clips and would say bug you know bugger it we would not launch the new endeavor in india anyway so uh yeah i was saying that you know you will be able to enjoy maximum acceleration and a good top speed okay in that first 70 percent of that you know battery charge and by that and and then at 20 you know when the battery charge is at 29 percent it will drop down to combat then when it comes down to 19 percent it will drop down to glide now when it first drop do drops down to 29 percent you would have done you know flat out okay you would have done somewhere around 8 to 100 kilometers 80 being the uh, you know least 100 being the maximum okay and even in when you drop down to combat you still uh, you know want to keep it pinned and then you when you know come into uh, come to glide you still want to keep it pinned you continue to do that and you will still get a total 140 kilometers range to zero okay and if you are someone who wants to mix it up like you know uh, the majority of your riding would be in uh, combat mode which is you know good for you know all kinds of riding in the city and on the highways as well okay you would be able to extract 
anywhere between 180 to even 220 kilometers anything above that uh, you know would be purely out of your desire to make a record of sorts that oh you know what i'm riding at 40 to 60 and i got 240 kilometers range buy a scooter instead then okay this is a motorcycle that you buy to enjoy okay so yeah please do that as in ride in ballistic and combat okay uh, in peak hour traffic yeah i don't i would not mind uh, and i did that you know sh uh, shifting to glide so uh, okay uh, another more important thing the company sent the boost charger okay not the regular charger that you get with this motorcycle i would recommend that you get that one and not the boost charger okay why because it's you know that charger is good for your battery's health it would take of course 9 to 10 hours okay to uh, completely charge it from 0 to 100 percent but it will not only be good for your battery it would be good for your uh, you know uh, electricity consumption at home okay and of course your house wiring as well all right see i will tell you what uh, i was able to figure out you know uh, how much electricity it consumed from 0 to 100 percent okay it took 14 kilowatts yes 14 units now depending upon where you stay okay you can do that calculation and figure out so uh, you know worst case scenario 140 kilometers of range okay at 100 percent charge and then you charge it again by, you know via boost charger it takes 14 kilowatts and it takes five and a half hours nothing less than that it can take five hours 35 minutes five hours 45 minutes it will not take anything less than that okay and uh, what else see these are the uh, two primary things that you know anyone wants to know uh, from an electric vehicle but since this is a sport bike i have to tell you briefly about you know its handling uh, ride quality and uh, other aspects quickly uh, handling is spot on okay it's 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 beautiful all right ride quality surprisingly good okay uh, for a sport bike you know that again like all sport bikes uh, have uh, you know less travel suspension less suspension travel travel suspension less suspension travel uh, and what else yeah I think uh, that sums it up if you have any questions okay please do feel free to uh, you know ask me in the comment section below and uh, yeah, I will see you soon in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.